I am not holding out any hope in uh, attaining any kind of victory here, but who knows? Maybe we're going to get something. Maybe we're going to get something. It's, it's going to be a bit dicey because we're outnumbered pretty heavily. Hello reformers and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. Now when we left off we defeated a, actually quite a bunch of different units and we now have a pretty menacing army. And now it's actually not that good but it's obviously not that bad either so we should be able to take anyone on and have a reasonable chance at defeating them. Now, of course, I'm not talking about the huge heretic armies or the very, very powerful vassals, but I think we could probably take on a weaker Fiedsvein vassal right now and probably have a decent shot at succeeding. So anyway, we're here at a ransom broker and I'm going to sell these guys just to take a look and see how much we're getting for every single prisoner here. So for Valkyries, which you would expect, you're obviously going to be getting 510. I've already sold the loot that I had in my inventory at the end of the previous episode because, well, it's kind of pointless to have that in there for much too long, isn't it? So I gained about 2,000 from that or 1,000 from that. Yeah, it was pretty decent. Now what we're going to do is, well, there was actually a bunch of brigands in the area that I wouldn't have minded fighting, but it seems as though they have left this area, which is kind of annoying because I was actually resting here for some time to try and restore my HP because, well, I think I did get lanced, didn't I? I think I got lanced in the, the previous episode. So anyway, we're going to improve our strength rating here and then another point in power draw. I don't know when... We're going to be getting and using a bow, but hopefully sometime soon. Anyway, we're going to start using the Barclay plate and leather. There we go. We actually look a bit cooler now because the red doesn't really suit us, in my opinion, at least at the moment. And I'm going to be using the Finder to Saber and the Blunt Tip Lance. And we're now going to be going in here and saving the village from bandits. Let's do it. 34 robbers against us and we do actually have a mount. Okay, well this is gonna be much easier than I anticipated then because I actually thought that... Oh, maybe it's not. These guys... Whoa, okay, they actually have rogue black heart squires and the... Knights? They actually have rogue black heart knights? Okay. Color me surprised. Wow. That is... That's kind of... Isn't that a bit overkill? Isn't that a bit overkill? It said 34 robbers. It said 34 robbers. The game was lying to me. How dare you? How dare you? Well, never mind. It's all right, because we should be able to get a couple of kills here and maybe level up. May I would like to take one of these guys prisoner, you know? I'd love to be able to do that, but I don't have a blunt weapon I can use at very, very close ranges, and it's highly unlikely. Ooh, I might be able to do it now. Let's do this. Come on! Ah... I'm actually partially thinking that I should replace my current horse with the Jatu Hunter horse. Because if I do that, well, we all know that the Jatu are extremely good when it comes to their cavalry. Because, well, they're basically all cavalry, so their horses, by proxy, are going to be very good and well statted as well. So it might make sense for me to use that. Alright, now we are victorious here, as is the case, and we're going to be refusing that so that we can gain some honor and get our village, well, not our village, but we're going to get a village leveled up a little bit here. And we have 78 renown. We need to get about 150 to become a vassal, and hopefully we're going to be able to do that sooner rather than later, because that means then I will be able to start getting the relation of various villages up a little bit quicker than normal. So, yes, there's Baron Charles there. I believe that Lord Eric spends quite a bit of time at Avondor. And it would make sense for me to go over there and maybe see what's going on. Maybe he's there. But I'd like to speak to the village elder here as well. I'd like to try and do as much as I can to... Ah, here we go, yes. As much as I can to level up the relations of the various villages in the area, because if I can do that, then that will give me an increased chance of being able to field better and bigger armies. But as I said, we're most likely not going to be using too many Salian units at the moment, and 
Hopefully, if everything goes to plan, we're probably not going to be using any at all, but just in the eventuality that something bad happens, like I lose my entire army of custom knighthood order units, or I lose my entire army right now, then having a little bit of relation in every single village is going to make a huge difference to the amount of units we're able to recruit. So if we can do that, then I think we'll be in a much better situation. These guys are going to be very easy for me to eliminate, because we're not exactly a slouch anymore in terms of beating people with a stick, because we're actually, you know, a bit practiced from the arena battles. But who knows, maybe while we're doing this, Lord Eric might travel by and uh, give us an opportunity to say hi and uh, to report back on the task that he gave us many, many episodes ago. I actually have forgotten when he gave us that task because it's just been so long. But thankfully, the completion of various tasks eliminates the time limit on these. So you have huge amounts of time to return whatever it may be to the fellow in question but at least it's uh, yeah i mean i i don't think it's really going to give us that much so i don't know whether it's really uh, it's probably not even really worth it and there goes a bunch of units by the way i, I believe the marshal did actually call me yes as you can see there duke alamar he called me uh, i was choosing to basically ignore that because at the moment i don't think i'll be able to really participate in big large scale vassal battles i did say that i'd be able to take on a vassal that is much weaker than us and that's true i think we would probably be able to do that and as you can see the bandits have been spotted on the horizon riding hard for foxstead let's do this all right thankfully we're not half naked and we'll be able to use our main weapons here and this this should be pretty easy although we are oh oh you you, you scoundrel that was awful wasn't it that was absolutely terrible i'm actually kind of surprised that my lance didn't hit him but i suppose i should really just be a bit more careful with it maybe go into first person because that has proven in the past to be a little bit more accurate for us maybe i'll be able to do something here no. Oh, yeah, I was kind of thinking to myself that wasn't that was too good to be true because I just hit a little bump in the environment and then that caused me to slow down just enough so that my lance was no longer couched and then when I do actually finally couch I hit the horse because this this environment's just very very uneven. Maybe we'll be able to take out a couple here. I'd like to get some of our companions leveled up a little bit so hopefully they'll be able to get a couple of kills here. I mean, I don't think they're particularly badly equipped. I think they could definitely do with maybe better armor, but I think their weapons are reasonable, so we don't have to worry too much about that, or at least I hope so. What are, who's this who's this guy actually shooting? What are you shooting? Well, you're not shooting anyone anymore, that's for sure. Okay, so if I can just take out these guys, then we should be fine. Well, there's still actually a lot of a lot of enemies still remaining, and I've killed 11 of them. Interesting. That is very interesting. I guess it is literally just because we are fighting with very minimal units from our own army, and instead we're using many of the militia that we just trained. Apparently we didn't do a very good job, because I don't even know how many were killed. Yeah, actually a huge amount were killed. So that's not particularly good, is it? Oh well, never mind. We did gain two renown from that and two morale, which is pretty decent. And as you can see, we gained some experience, a little bit of money, but the most important thing is gaining some honor. And we also have 10 relation at this particular village. So that is really, really good. All right, so I'm not entirely sure if Lord Eric has gone with Duke Alamar to do whatever it is that they were going to go and do. So maybe i'll have to find him or maybe i could just f oh is that oh no i do have that other quest by the way to track down those bandits the heretic coven but i don't believe oh there's duke alamar over there did he just call off the the campaign or what what is he actually doing that's a bit weird okay so i don't really want to go in here against the death cult because he's literally just going to eliminate yes he eliminated them extremely quickly okay come on yeah there we go get after him all right, so, oh, your enemies boast that you fled from this person, leaving your men behind to cover your retreat. I pray that is not true, for such behavior dishonors us all. When did I do that? Ah, 
I think I did that uh, to try and escape at one point, but that's the point. I didn't really have any other option. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so do you have any tasks for me? Oh, what is this? Oh, that is... Oh, that, no, I'm sorry. You're just going to hate me even more, aren't you, Lord Fouchier? Ah, uh, okay, well, anyway. The point is, is that basically I don't want to really be in his good books. I would like to be, but yeah, it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. So instead, I'm just going to ask him where Lord Eric is. He's traveling to Mistmire Castle. Right. Should be close to Emir. Where is that? Oh, it's all the way over there, and he's traveling to Mistmire Castle. Well, where is Mistmire Castle? Hmm, it seems to be somewhere further away, because I don't seem to be able to see it. Hmm, well, it, he's close to Amir right now. Oh, there's Miss Meyer. Oh, okay, so that's very, very close by. Wait a minute, I actually did see some heretics over here before we spoke to that wonderfully bad-mannered fellow. <laughs> uh, he just doesn't like us very much, so I suppose that's the reason. So if we can maybe find those guys, because they actually had a huge amount of prisoners, so it would be kind of fine to maybe rescue them and add them to our ranks. But, oh, no, there we go. The troublesome bandits have been eliminated by another party. I'm pretty sure that it was this party that just eliminated them, so I was, in, I was going in the right direction. But anyway, there's a little bit of profit for us right there. At least we're not losing money if I... I mean, literally, look at that. My my wages are almost 4,000. If I was not a mercenary, I would certainly be having a huge difficulty there. But anyway, hopefully we'll be able to find Lord Eric very, very soon. All right, well, we actually have found Lord Eric pretty easily, actually. There we go. And I can't accept the blood money. It's 500, it's 500 dinars, which is actually not even that bad. But I'm going to go for the honor instead. There we go. Okay, so, ah, uh, okay, so yeah, basically they're just wanting me to, oh, yes, reducing relation every single time. But yeah, they're wanting me to find these prisoners from the Feards Vein, and it's just not going to work. It really just isn't. Anyway, these guys that we might want to fight here, they're, there's 40 of them. They have, wait a minute, Bloodsworn Witches? Not entirely sure if I want to be fighting those, but we're going to try it out anyway, because I don't think we've ever seen them before, and it would be kind of nice to check them out. Ah, you have been marked. I, well, I have a beard, so there, yes. Exactly. Okay, so we should probably just charge straight on in here, because they're basically going to charge us, aren't they? They're not? Mm, uh, maybe. Yeah, kind of. Maybe, yeah. Ah, well, it doesn't really matter. Probably should have re-equipped the Jatu Hunter Horse. That would have been maybe a good idea. Oh, yeah. I took out one of those Heretic Magnus units. That's even better. All right. Well, I don't really mind what happens now because that Heretic Magnus is going to sell for a huge amount of money. And I'm pretty happy with that. So let's see if we can just take out a whole bunch of units and hopefully not get killed myself. Yeah, take that. My horse is doing a lot of damage, actually. These Bloodsworn Witches do actually seem to be quite powerful in the way that they actually survive multiple hits instead of just dying instantly. So that's pretty good. And do bear in mind that I actually don't mind if any of our units get taken out. And so if, you know, we happen to lose something or other, it really doesn't matter because they are a means to an end. And uh, theoretically... I should really have a much smaller army at the moment, but we, we just got kind of lucky with the amount of units that I was able to rescue, so that's the reason why it's so large. Otherwise, I'd be able to get much bigger Renown rewards at this point. As you can see right here, 8 Renown, and... Hmm... Yeah, I think that's alright. I mean, look at that. We just lost a Ravenstone Warden, a Cleric, Barclay Soldier, Salian Cavalry. That's kind of painful, because the Cavalry do take quite a bit to level up. But it then, it then does kind of save on our wages a little bit. Ooh, that's nice. That is some nice boots right there. Very good. Okay, and we've got some... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know what I could just do? Let's just put these all back in here. And I'm just going to tell my forces just to take things. There we go. Okay, that's exactly what we should do. And we'll just take the rest of these things just to sell. 
and there we go yes we are in a very very good position there and we also get the opportunity to take a heretic magnus prisoner it would have been pretty cool to take the invoker because i think the invoker is a little bit higher level but yeah in the grand scheme of things it doesn't really matter one of those things is going to be great anyway we should probably try and fight some vanskari raiders as well because we now have an army capable of taking on basically any number of them with the exception of very very large armies so i'm probably going to go over into Fiedzvein territory and maybe find a weakened vassal to fight as well i'm thinking maybe we will be able to participate in a tournament at the moment Maybe, yes, no, hmm. it really depends because right now they usually say you don't have enough renown to join this and that's kind of sad. So maybe if we're unable to join it, then that's obviously just, uh, yeah, that's just fate saying uh, bugger off. Yeah, that's that's basically what it's saying. Anyway, there you go. That's fine. That's okay. You can you can do that if you want. But we're going to level up these guys, and then we're going to try and find oh, another Salian Cavalry. That's pretty good. And let's get some mounted rangers. Basically just going for an entire cavalry force with the exception of the Barclay units that we got previously. And we're going to try, if we can, as I said, to try and find a lower tier Fiedzvein vassal. All right, so I found some Vanskari warriors, and they're actually part of Jarl Hagar Three Fingers Vanskari Raiders. And I thought to myself, okay, maybe if they have a name, they might have something special about them. So I decided to go in here. I'm still a little bit injured, as you can see, but I haven't found any vassals. I just saw a huge battle going on between Borilgi the Usurper and the forces of the Ravenstone with one of the Salian vassals very close by as well. So I basically just saw that and then I was like, oh, well, uh, excuse me, let me get out of there very quickly. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically what happened there. But otherwise, I have replaced my horse and we're now using a Jatu Hunter. And hopefully that is going to result in much, much better damage from our couch lancing, which I think you can already see, I think you can already see that it's actually doing quite a bit, and Sara the Fox has advanced in level. Eh, uh, oh, he managed to escape my, oh, never mind, he didn't. <laughs> That's actually a better guy to take out anyway. I mean, basically what I should be doing with my lance at the moment is just trying to take out the highest level units that the enemy has and gaining them as prisoners because that is obviously going to make the most sense. Anyway, let's just let our forces choose. Wow, they apparently have better better armor than this. And that is a uh, Dark Steel Hunter. Is that better than what this is? No, it's actually not better, but it does have more charge and more armor, but that's basically it. Nothing else really very good about it. All right, let's continue to take some of these. And there we have it. Hera, what say we adjourn to my tent for a while? I'd like a private sample of your bardic skills. Oh, I might do see. I had no idea you were so interested in my bardic talents. <laughs> Fox is the right name for you, my girl. Ah, well, okay, so I'm going to interrupt them just a second here because that, that is a little bit of a, a sample of the voice acting that you can hear in Pendor. And I'm going to say it's a little bit of a mixed bag for me. I'm I kind of on the fence about it, to be honest. But it's kind of nice that they have added voices into the game because I think that Warband has never really had that with the exception of less talking, more raiding, and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's kind of nice that they're able to speak more than a couple of lines. Uh, and uh, yeah, actually, if uh, if anyone's watching that is like a mod creator or whatever, I uh, I do stuff like this. So you know, there's a there's a business email and all that. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just be very pleased that they're getting on very nicely, and we're now going to see where we can go next and see if we can find a couple of. Uh, mm, uh, oh, this guy. This guy might actually be pretty good. 104. Jarl Gunder Doomseeker. That might actually make sense. 
it might make sense for us to attack him. We have leveled up. A bunch of our people have leveled up as well. So let's continue to level them up. And... More Salian cavalry. Maybe I should go for some Salian man-at-arms or something like that. Sara has advanced, so let's give her something... Maybe some more strength, maybe some more agility. Probably just go for agility at this point, because I think that she's probably going to be our greatest knighthood order agility user. So it would be kind of good for us to get her to do that and all the agility-based skills. And otherwise, Kasim is just going to go along the standard path of being a horse archer slash cavalry, and we're just going to level up his strength as well and we're also going to level up bear tilled here so what are we going to do what are we going to do i have no idea probably intelligence i suppose now because we do have persuasion to go for here go we could do some more trainer skill i think more trainer skill might make sense but i think more shield might make more sense because eventually we're going to be going up against some really really harsh adversaries and we are going to need shields like this that are going to protect us. So the steel round shield is now equipped. Let's see if I can maybe speed up the game a little bit and see if we can get Mr. Mr. Doomseeker to come out of his lodge and say hi. Something tells me he probably won't. And the Fields Vein and the Ravenstone have now made peace. Ah, hello there. You're coming out to meet me and you have a very, very strong army. I'm a bit worried about this now. Oh dear. Okay. We might not be able to do it. Let's let's actually just see what's going on. Hey, Lord Othon, get over here. Hey, Lord Othon, come over here. Ah. Okay, ch chase me. Yes. Yes. He's running from me now. Why is he running from me? Come on now. Don't run away from me. You need to run away from Lord Othon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we're able to get him. Let's do it. Ah, okay, we're not able to get him with Lord Othon helping us, but I could actually leave, but I think we're actually just going to go straight on in here and see how much renown we're going to get, and if we are, whoa, we're going to get 29 if we happen to win this. I am not holding out any hope in uh, attaining any kind of victory here, but who knows? Maybe we're gonna get something. Maybe we're gonna get something. It's it's gonna be a bit dicey because we're outnumbered pretty heavily. So that is definitely something that we're gonna be a bit wary of. And how much cavalry do I have? I actually have 27 cavalry. That is pretty interesting. Okay, so let me, let me just actually go into third person, thankfully. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna actually go into a bit of a formation here because I actually have a pretty balanced army. I'm actually kind of surprised because it's been a while since I've had one of these in any series. Usually I concentrate on one or the other. So if a faction has particularly good cavalry, I'm only gonna have a cavalry army and so on and so forth. But using this strategy of advancement and progression in a game or in a mod like Pendor, you're gonna have a wide variety of different units at your disposal and this should be pretty interesting now they should have wow they don't have any they don't have any cavalry no they do have some cavalry I think yeah I think they do have some but uh, yeah we need to be a bit careful about this okay let's tell our infantry to stand closer a little bit here just in case okay so we do have some Horse archers. Do bear that in mind. Right, so we're going to have to tell our infantry to charge straight on in here. And we're going to take my cavalry around the side and see if we can charge straight on into them. We do have a couple of them with lances. So this is going to be pretty good and maybe devastating to the opponent. Let's see if we can get a couple of kills. <laughs> Are you serious? Did you just see that? That was absolutely pathetic. That was really, really bad. Okay, well... I, uh, I I don't really hold out much hope right now, but uh, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to do something. Maybe. Okay, the, basically the one thing that I should do right now is just make sure that I don't die. If I die, then we have no chance whatsoever in succeeding. Are you serious? They're covering me on all sides. Get away. Ah, thank you. Phew, that was close. That was very, very close indeed. Okay, well, we are eliminating them. And I mean, if we can eliminate the 
lower tier units, or should we say the higher tier units, then the lower tier units will be very easy for us to deal with after that. But I'm very worried. I'm very worried. My horse has been crippled, but that's okay. That is okay. I have I have a pretty nice weapon to defend myself with here. And I do have two shields, so do bear that in mind as well. And I'm moving very, very slowly. Okay, come on now. I'm going to need to get some more athletics. This is absolutely awful. Really. Okay, come on now. Okay, so y y you know what I'm going to do? I'm literally... Wait a minute. Are we going to win this? We're actually going to win this. I am very surprised. Well, we did lose a huge amount of units. As you can see here, we lost 29. And I guess that just shows that even if you have a wide amount of units on your... On your well, on your side and against you... It really just depends on the unit quality, because even though they did have... Let's have a look at actually what they had here. Because they had three Huskars, that's nothing to worry about. Twelve Berserkers, they were the people that were actually killing most of us, I think. And then we, of course, had the Herseers as well. Now, the Herseers are obviously not going to be extremely good at dealing damage. They're more defensive units. So if you think about that, and then you think about that they didn't have any Valkyries... We kind of had the advantage because we have a, we had a huge amount of cavalry to defeat them with, even though we did actually lose many, many of those cavalry in that fight. He did manage to escape, however, which is a bit disappointing, I have to admit, but otherwise we should be able to give our people some extra gear, which is nice. So let's tell all of this to go into our inventory. Yes, let's tell all of it. Fantastic. Okay. And there's another steel round shield. I'm going to use one of those. Thank you very much. All right. Well, that was that was working out pretty nicely, I got to say. And we gained a huge amount of experience, huge amount of renown for that. We now have 123 renown. And with that, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.